I'm Brian Westbrook with GeekWire Studios here at AWS reInvent 2024. We're chatting now with Red Hat's Consulting Technical Product Manager. I'm joined by Hisham Murad. Thank you so much for being here today. I want to start off with automation, a bit of story about how automation simplifies management of your AWS environment. Yeah, so automation is really critical for many organizations. It's the way they're going to be able to reduce the complexity that they have within their environment. So Ansible Automation Platform is really an IT automation solution that allows them to simplify that complexity within their environment, especially in the, in the cloud, the AWS uh, cloud environment. And we do this in multiple ways, really. So we can help them with you know, orchestrating or orchestration, we can help them with operationalizing their environment, we can help them with also governance within their environment. So let me just touch on those really yeah. quickly, if I may. Please. Um, so around orchestration, one of the things that organizations need to do is they need to be able to deploy infrastructure, retire infrastructure. They need to be able to manage that infrastructure in an ongoing way. A lot of organizations need to be able to do things like migrate to the cloud, to the AWS yeah. cloud, their workloads, right? So it's something that automation can help them accelerate that migration. And we're hearing a lot more customers that talk about migrating their virtual environments, their VMs into the AWS cloud. And Ansible has a way to also help, m help with that VM migration and accelerate that and make that possible at scale. Right, so that's one area. Now the other area is operations, as I mentioned, right? That's really more focused around all the day two operations okay. around it. And so I need to be able to do things like managing my Red Hat Enterprise Linux environment, managing my Windows servers, managing other types of Linux servers, right? How can I do that? I need to patch it, upgrade it, main, you know, manage all that infrastructure, but also my VMs, my containers, right? So my, my cloud native infrastructure, I need to be able to manage that, and that's all the cloud operations aspects that we can assist with in an automated fashion. Now lastly around governance, right? You know, a lot of organizations have their own best practices, they have compliance requirements. Automation can help them make sure that all that environment is deployed, managed, maintained in a governed way, meeting their best practices, meeting their hardening guidelines, right? Integrating with their security and governance solutions as well. But not just that, think about infrastructure optimization. Where, and, and, and infrastructure sustainability, where sometimes, you know, there are times where they need to power down workloads and they can automate, you know, the scheduling of that, look at, you know, uh, sprawl within the environment and be able to figure where that is and also turn that, you know, those workloads off and eventually retire them, you know, helping them save money and time as well. Big topic of the show here, AI. Let's talk, you talked a lot about IT processes and how automation is very valuable, in fact, critical one might argue, in the IT world, but let's take that to AI. And there's a lot of similarities, but how does AI and automation differ and what are you doing in the automation space? Yeah, so that's a great question, Brian, thank you. So around AI, first of all, I'm going to touch on multiple areas, if I may. Yeah. Um, so first I'll touch on Ansible Automation Platform, right? Mm -hmm. So in Ansible Automation Platform, one of the major components is Ansible Lightspeed. Okay. Ansible Lightspeed is us bringing generative AI into our platform, right? So to help automation developers be able to very quickly, just using natural language prompts, you know, to be able to uh, generate automation code, right? And then they can take that code and simplify that. So I don't have to be like a deep developer, I could be just a beginner and be able to generate automation content that I can leverage. So that's one area of generative AI in the product itself. Now the other thing when it comes to AI, right, like obviously AI is huge. Yeah. Every customer today is, is super challenged with how do we quickly deploy AI applications? How do we make sure we have all the AI optimized infrastructure to maintain and support these applications, right? So that is a challenge for them. And this is where Ansible Automation Platform can truly come in to help the customers with deploying that infrastructure, managing that infrastructure, scaling that infrastructure, making sure, again, it meets all the AI requirements so they can bring those AI capabilities to bear a lot quicker, right? Really important. Now, on the other side of that, right, with AI workloads, uptime is high, Sure. High av availability is high. Also high. Right? 
So as a result, one of the capabilities of Ansible Automation Platform is called event-driven Ansible. And event-driven Ansible, this is where we can actually integrate monitoring solutions, we can integrate observability solutions, and we can actually capture events in real time. And based on those events, we're able to take corrective action, right? And we're actually able to, to automate you know, the, the corrective action and the self-healing capabilities for those environments. Really, again, helping customers accelerate that you know, journey to AI and getting those applications and, and recognizing the capabilities of those AI applications a lot sooner. Now, last point on that, if I may, we are Red Hat. Right. Red Hat Enterprise Linux is in AWS. Uh, Red Hat OpenShift service on AWS is a SaaS offering on the AWS cloud. We have RHEL AI, we have OpenShift AI. So for customers that are leveraging those platforms on the AWS cloud are really able to take advantage of that to further you know, simplify and accelerate their, their AI journey um, within the cloud. It's exciting stuff. Ansible Automation Platform, available in the AWS Marketplace. I know you have a managed and a self-managed offer. Uh, great stuff. You are having an amazing time here at AWS reInvent, and one of the things that I always notice when we're at a conference like this is some of the great swag. But years and years we've been talking, I've never had a red fedora. How do I really? get a red fedora? Well, I think we can just make that happen. Oh, look at that. A and red magic. fedora just happened there to appear. You go. A red hat, it. if you will. Absolutely fantastic. I want to say thank you to Hisham Murad, uh, the Chief Technical Product Manager. Ansible Automation Platform is available on the AWS Marketplace now. And real quick before we go, there's a Forrester Wave study. Tell us about that. Yeah, so uh, the Forrester Wave report on IT automation yeah. just released within the last 10 days and Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform is the sole leader in the leader quadrant of that Forrester wave. So please look at that report and uh, check it out. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for your time. I'm Brian Westwood with GeekWire Studios. Thanks for watching.